Hi, my name is Judy Bomarito. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I'm an adjunct instructor at the College for Creative Studies. And most of my work is fine art. And I do love to pride myself in being a storyteller, a visual storyteller. So Judy, why don't you tell us a little bit about your work? I think an important component of my story is that my mother was mentally ill and I became her sole caregiver. And I think that's really an important story to, to include because it wasn't always easy being her caregiver and I began photographing her. And this was when our healing journey began, a journey to healing and forgiveness. So when she became, along the way she became ill and I had to put her into a nursing home. So she spent 12 years into a nursing home. Uh, she was their longest resident and they loved her. Um, but during the COVID pandemic, on a cold November evening, I received the call that she was placed in hospice. And because we were in lockdown, I could not visit her. So like I said, I've been on this long journey of forgiveness with my mother. So it really, I needed to do something to create a sense of, to honor her and to validate her life as she was now transitioning. So I began the series, Winter Had Come. The series Winter Had Come is really four elements of my life coalesced at the same time. Uh, during the pandemic, I began running for my own mental wellness. And oftentimes along the way, I would pick up a feather or a leaf as a token of my intent for the day. And so I was collecting these into a little bowl. And um, oftentimes I would go out in my car too and photograph old buildings because old buildings have always been a metaphor for my aging body. They begin, they begin one way and they, they transform and change over time. So that became a metaphor for the, the body as a vessel. And then thirdly, I every autumn would read a chapter from the novel Bambi to my children ever since they were young. And the, it's a it's a novel by Felix Sultan. It's not the Disney version. And it's a beautiful allegory of the last two leaves that are hanging precariously on the branch as they wait for winter to approach. And oh. so those are the words that you see underneath, that will be underneath each of the, the beautiful images because that's the, the really the core of the series because the fourth element is my mother and I as we become the two leaves on the branch. So it was really poignant for me to do this series because it was my way to, again, to validate and to really honor her as I could not be with her to simply hold her hand as you normally would in you know, somebody's transition in life. So, so she was mentally ill before her illness. Oh yeah, yeah. You, okay, so that's something you dealt with as a daughter for. So that is a whole series. The series that I'm showing in Cincinnati is called Reclaiming Your Outside Voice. And it's that whole story of the journey, our journey of forgiveness and healing. How long have you been a photographer artist? Since the nineties. Yeah. Yeah, I graduated from the College for Creative Studies in 1995 and I've been teaching there since 1999. I teach, and one of the classes I teach is called Performative Spaces, which is a storytelling class. Um, it, it offers the students the opportunity to tell their own stories. So I always show my story as an example and share with them. And the class is very, it's very meaningful to me because these are freshman students that for the first time are understanding the connection between their artwork and their story and how that, that increases their, the power of the stories. So storytelling is a really strong component of the work that I do. Since you've been open with your students about your artwork, have you noticed that they've kind of opened up? They're also, you know, just going through the healing process and grieving? Yes. Talking about things that are personal, you sharing their personal experiences, because oftentimes when students are younger, they can even, especially if they're graphic design students, they're not thinking that their stories are important. They're looking at things from a more commercial perspective. That's the story that I tell in, in my series when I do the Reclaiming Your Outside Voice show. Judy, had you known about or had involvement with hospice before this you know, situation? No, but I did on the same note 
become very close with people in the nursing home. So I definitely have that experience. And I had a solo exhibition of my mother. So when I talk about the healing journey with my mother, when I began photographing her, this is a, a fantastic story. And this is why I, I love to share it is she began writing. And so she began writing her story on the back of menus or envelopes or anything that she could write on. Sometimes it was just a few words. Sometimes it was like once upon a time, there was a girl named Jane or, you know, she would like say these different things. And she, so as though she wanted me to hear her, she knew I was doing something bigger than both of us. And we evolved into this interesting relationship uh, it was a very symbiotic relationship. I would go to photograph her and she would give me notes and she wouldn't give them to me. She would hide them, but I would find them. And she, it, because she was never able to talk. So this was her way of talking. And she knew I was finding these little pieces of paper. So she couldn't with her voice talk, but on paper she could. So these are the images that I have in, in, in the show that I'm going to be having in October. But I did have a solo exhibition of these, these images 10 years ago. That series is called The Space Between the Cracks. And it shows our relationship of going back and forth and the discovery that a lot of them are diptychs. I would take the photo and then I would um, juxtapose it with her text. Can I ask what mental illness your mom was diagnosed with? Yes, you can. She had schizophrenia. How old was she when she was diagnosed? 60s. She was undiagnosed, un emotionally unavailable my whole life, always concerned with other things. And she just snapped in her 60s. I had all three of my children at the time. My daughter was two and she had a psychotic breakdown. And my dad took care of her for two years and then he had a stroke. And oh when, the, when he had his stroke, that's when I became her sole caregiver. And then after that, how long did your dad pass? He passed a few months later. He had a stroke on Labor Day and passed on Thanksgiving. We didn't want to take care of her because we didn't have a very good relationship. That's why I think my story is so important to share because oh. it's a story of seeing, I started to see her. It's almost as though she thought I was going to rescue her from the ivory tower and maybe she rescued me. How long ago did your mom pass? Three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. Wow. My mother's nursing home just contacted me because I made a little booklet when I did the series, The Space Between the Cracks. I had a little book and I brought it up to the nursing home so that they would see that I'm walking around with my camera. I'm not taking photos of other people. And, you know, they kind of got to know me. They just requested a book. And I told them after I come home from November, it, being in Georgia, I said, I'm going to come over back to the nursing home and talk to them about doing lectures for their community because they have so many families that don't want to be with the family members. They want to drop them off at the nursing home because everybody's got, you know, everybody's hurt. Everybody needs, you know, to be, to understand forgiveness. It's not the best thing for the residents because the residents need the family. So the nursing homes really want to bring the families together. So I'm hoping that maybe my story, they thought my story might help a particular family. And I said, well, you know, if you feel that strongly about that, Perhaps when I come home, we can arrange, you know, every few six months or something, I can do a, a slide presentation with my artwork and talk about how my healing journey has been.